Steve has made many vital saves for knots, all the result of hours of practice and dedication. Every Friday morning, Steve trains away from the team, polishing up on individual fitness and goalkeeping routines. Steve, well, an awful lot of preparation has to go into uh, your weekly routine, and it's not always that you train with the main squad. No, we have our own days when we've got it. It's important that we work on our own game, uh, like to get a free week, like we've had this week. Um, Paul Evans comes in, takes all the goalkeepers. We go through um, our own routine of hard work, and I assure you it is hard work, and uh, the other lads do what they need to do fitness-wise. It's a very specialist thing, isn't it, goalkeeping? A lot of uh, agility is needed and, uh, and sharpness. It's, it's specialised and also it's an individ individual thing. Because obviously what one goalkeeper does doesn't suit another keeper. Like if when I take uh, James Walker, if I think that, um, I always say to him, if there's something you don't like doing or you don't think that you benefit from it, then let me know and we'll do something different. Uh, on a Friday morning he comes with me, uh, which is important for him because he needs to um, do his own bit. Um, making sure that on come Saturday he feels confident and um, he's on his game. <coughs> now, you, you've been around for quite a few years at, at not a good level. Many, not that many. <laughs> but, but long enough to know that, uh, that probably where you are going wrong and, and to probably believe that you can actually improve still in various parts of your game. It's important that, um, you know, when things aren't going for you, you know when you're at fault and when you're not at fault. It's, it's difficult for keepers because I'm not just saying it because I'm a keeper, but obviously knowing the position like uh, spectators and uh, seem to don't seem to see what goalkeepers see and it's it's a, it's a tough uh, position to play not just fitness wise but uh, knowing what's about you uh, I mean you haven't to tell players what to do and also concentrate on your own game so it is difficult sometimes you probably get blamed for goals that really aren't your fault and uh, might even blame yourself for well, goals that you really should it's shouldn't. like um, Grubber said Saturday you know you've got to be thick skinned and uh, it doesn't really matter, although you do get blamed, there, there comes a time when you just turn a blind eye to it and get on with your own game. Um, I've been in the game too long now to let little things upset me, which I have done in the past. You know when you're playing well and you know when you're having a bit of a bad time and you just work hard at your game and hopefully come through it. Steve, you certainly are playing well, enjoying your football here at Notts County and I believe uh, you're one of these sort of players who really does want to keep on playing as long yeah, as possible. Yeah, um, I mean... Ever since the age of what five, uh, it's always been my ambition. It was my ambition, or or something I wanted to do, and uh, I wanted to do it as long as possible, make a little, you know, a good living out of the game. I think as long as you maintain that level of fitness, there's no reason why you can't. Yeah. Um, obviously, you got to stay fit, and you've got to keep loving the game, which I want to do. I, you know, I can't wait for the next game to come along. Now let's talk about one or two individual saves and, and performances. You've enjoyed an awful lot of success <coughs> with Notts County over the last season yeah. or so, <coughs> and uh, one or two saves must stand out. Well, obviously, I'll go back to the Wembley the day. It was a great day for me, and uh, made a couple of half-decent saves. Um, but towards the end of the promotion, uh, push for, for promotion, I should say, I enjoyed two or three, uh, not just saves, but games, you know. Uh, it was important, because at times I've been... Uh, doing nothing as, as you might say and then all of a sudden um, in a game where it's been really I've been out of the game and like, made two or three important saves which is more pleasing than just making the odd one or two saves. Wembley though must have been the icing on the cake for you. I know you were very happy to yeah. have your parents at the game yeah, and, was, um, uh, and to pull off a very vital save at that time. Yeah it was uh, I mean the old not just the game but the old day for families and yourself uh, it, was, it was a great day and uh, let's hope we've done the same this year.
Brian with him. And taking Shannon 